The Castle in Heaven and the Two Towers Epilogue Alice in Wonderland's Chapter Alice stood watching as the castle in heaven crashed down to the ground. The castle in heaven had become drained of its powers from the battle between Little Red and Little Dread. After the floating powers of the castle had become dismantled by Alhazred, gravity began to pull down upon the castle. Through the eyes of those on the Earth's surface, the scene of the falling castle was likened to that to the end of the world. Alice was a visitor from a different world that was called forth into this world by the attraction of Grimm's power. However, when Alice arrived in this world, Grimm had already lost his power, and his existence was about to be sealed within the Grimoire. Grimm placed his will in Alice, and Alice delivered his will to Lubia. Because of his will, Lubia came to herself and received the power to revitalize the world. Alice is called the Wanderer and comes from a different world, so her powers don't work as effectively in this world. The basic structure of magic has a lot of common in between worlds, but the way to use the magic stones and the nature of these stones, which are fundamental to the sources of the structure of magic, differ from each world. The power which Alice can use in this world is less than half of her normal abilities. Alice stood watching it, the castle in heaven crash down to the ground. Since Alice had much less power in this world, she was consistently thrown into the role of an onlooker. She helped Grimm, but she couldn't act as a main character in the story. But it was the future of this world that the most important turning point of which determined the fate of Alice. To save herself from that person, there is no doubt she would need help. Here it begins. Watching the fallen castle, Alice whispered those words. Not the end, but rather the beginning. Lumia rescued Pandora, and within the Tower of Despair, by using her powers of restoration, she managed to defeat Alhazred, the descendant of the followers of the Great Old Ones. But in doing so, Lumia's power and heart were sealed by Ahazra's Necronomicon. There is a chance that I won't make it back. That's why I've put our last hope within Pandora. So Alice, please, grant me this one wish. The hope Lumia had left behind it is now within Pandora's new box. At this moment, even Alice has no knowledge of what unlocking the box may bring. And as for the battle that continued between Little Red and Little Dread, after three days they both fell down from the castle in heaven to the ground, and Little Red put all her strength into feasting the Holy Windstone, and delivered the coup d'etat. But as Azhezred fell, acting in concert with the ceiling stone near the place that Little Dread had fallen, as her magic powers began to dissipate, a wormhole was summoned by the gateway known as the Black Moon. Born from this wormhole was a great old one, revived from a thousand years past. Things have gone as scheduled so far, haven't they, right Kaguya? When Alice looked up at the sky, before she knew it, the Crimson Moon had turned into a pale blue one. And so, from the distance, warriors as if mentioned from the stories of an ancient world began to march forth. Well, I have to do what I can do. Under the pale moon, with the power of fantasy and illusions, Alice charged forth. To be continued in The Moon Priestess Returns. Running about within the tower was a girl who wore a red hood. The glint of her eyes shined out like a wolf hunting prey.